noodles with soup. None. Just ask those poor people in cartoons making soup out of a boot. But I usually follow a little formula when making a stew. First, protein. In this case, we're using some beef chuck or Greek bitar. Next, a starch. In this case, we're going to use some potatoes. Third, veggies. I just grabbed what I have. Here you can see some carrots, leek, and green beans. So let's get started. We're going to start by browning the meat. Just pour in a glug of olive oil, and as soon as it's shimmering, start browning. Just try to get the meat brown on all sides. It doesn't have to be perfect, and we're not trying to cook it through. All right, that's good. Take the meat out and put it to the side. I tend to use the lid to minimize dishes. Splash in a little red wine vinegar. You could also use red wine if you have some. That deglazes the pan and gets all the delicious little bits of flavor from the bottle. All right. I'm going to add in my organic beef bouillon. Okay. And my onions. Garlic and celery. Now, the most important thing for a soup or stew is the flavor base. You could use whatever herb or kind of onion you want. As long as you give it time, it'll work out well. But if you want a little direction, Google sofrito, that's Italian or Spanish, mirepoix, French, or my favorite. Cajun Holy Trinity. Good culinary knowledge. My tip to you. Next, I'm going to put in a little tomato paste for some nice, rich tomato flavor. And a can of crushed tomatoes. You could also use whole tomatoes, canned, whatever you have. And now, add your meat back to the pot. And then cover with just enough water. Now it's time for the seasoning. I'm going to keep it simple. Just a little bay leaves or lager blood, some thyme, and salt. We're gonna let this get to a bubble, cover and let simmer for about an hour or until the meat gets tender. Do not let it boil. I used to make that mistake all the time. What happens is the meat gets chewy and tough. We don't want that. So let's get started on the veggies. Start by chopping up our potatoes. Now I've washed these potatoes, but I didn't peel them because I don't think it's necessary. But you can go ahead and peel yours if you feel like it, especially if the skins are thick. Now you can chop these to whatever size you like. I'm gonna do mine small medium because I want them to cook faster. I usually eyeball the amount and put just a little more potatoes than I have meat. Now the carrots. I'm going to slice this to medium thickness. If you slice the carrots too thin, they'll turn to mush in the stew. I'm probably going to do about half as much carrots as I have potatoes. And now the leek. This one's all clean and ready to go. It's not a classic choice, but I had one and it was going bad, so into the soup it goes. So you just want to chop off that really tough green part on the top and slice it just like you did the carrots. Like I said, it's not the traditional choice, but I had it and it'll taste good in the soup. Now it's time to put in your veggies. So in goes the potatoes and leek and the carrots. I'm also going to pour in some more water to top it off. So since I've added a little water, the flavor of the soup is going to change. So just add a little seasoning to taste. I'm going to throw in the green beans as well. So just let that simmer until the meat and veggies are nice and tender. If you want a thicker stew, let it simmer with the lid off. Or you could cheat by adding a little cornstarch mixed with water. Give it another hour or so. And the stew is done. 
This is definitely a Sunday favorite. You let it sit and simmer a couple of hours, you have something glorious. Let's dish this out. All right. And I happen to have a little cornbread. This goes perfectly with our stew. All right, let's top with a little pepper. Okay, I've got my cornbread on the side. There's a recipe for that too you can find. And dig right in. A little love and a lot of time and you'll always have a winner. Classic. Visit AmericoNarisca.com for more tips and recipes. Don't forget to subscribe.